Uh, hi, I'm Sharon. Uh, my name is Sharon Wu, Wu Yuqin. And uh, I've been here at this string group for uh, 11, no, 9 years, since uh, 2011. When I first started coming to Dream Group, I had a lot of dreams. And um, that was a transitional period in my life and I was really eager to find out about myself and my journey. So I, I started coming to Dream Groups and then I think I understood myself better and uh, also found out why I embark on some of the journeys in my life and then after that I still keep coming to dream groups and then all of a sudden it has been like nine years it's really a long long time and I don't know if I have been you know like doing something for this long just keep coming to the same place and um, I think the reason that I keep coming to Dream Group is because I feel that I feel the transforming effect of coming to Dream Groups, not just to the dreamer, but also the participants. And after I done a lot of my dreams, I still keep coming because I feel the whole process is just very just keep giving you energy and giving keep giving you strength to face all kinds of challenges even though you are not really doing your own dreams but by listening to other people's dream and their stories and uh, joining the process also remind you some of the strengths that you are hidden inside and I remember that somebody say that you know um, sometimes it is just by presenting yourself in a place and you have changed a lot of things and I guess that that's probably what I want to do as well I mean even though I'm not doing my dream but my presence in the dream group have already changed a lot of things and uh, things that I I do not know but perhaps giving people comfort, giving people strength just by being here and I really enjoy that and I think that's the reason that keeps me coming to dream groups yes looks very beautiful. You, what you're saying to us, I think you told us this before that and I never forgot it because no one else had ever said it. You said, when I first came to the dream group, I came here to get something for myself. But the reason I've stayed so long is because I stay to give to other people. You said that, yeah, I don't know if you remember that. Yes, but uh, I have to say still that the reason I keep coming to Dream Group is mainly for personal reason because I feel that um, the whole process is really quite healing. We are constantly under all kinds of pressure in life and uh, Dream Group is like an outlet for our feelings and Sometimes we don't really need to take to talk about our pressure or negative thoughts. Just by hearing people, their stories, and uh, helping them, we have found the strength back to the empty vault in ourselves. And uh, I found that really helpful in dealing with everyday trivial pressure. We find we get our strength back from from hearing from hearing other people's stories and their and by participating in the process. It's true stories are the way the human human beings learn through stories. Primitive yeah. people, advanced people, 
even if you read a scientific magazine, they always say, or a scientific research paper, they want you to give a story, a story line. Otherwise, people, you know, you're right, and the stories heal. That's why children love stories. Mm -hmm. And they, they don't call it healing like I'm sick and now I'm better. Healing means it makes you more whole. Yeah. That's what it means. That's beautiful. <laughs> well, you said it. I'm just repeating what you said. Um, and you said, let out our feelings. And there's a, someone wrote once about a squirrel. A squirrel um, finds a, a chocolate cookie. And he thinks, oh, I've got a chocolate cookie. And the squirrel buries his acorns in a hole. He finds a secret place to bury them. So he digs a hole and buries the chocolate cookie. And then he comes back in the, in the spring, you know, like he digs up acorns and eats them. Oh, an acorn, how delicious. He digs up his chocolate cookie and there's nothing there but mush, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> and that's what happens when we bury our feelings, you know? When we go back to look for them, they're not there. We're not feeling people anymore. We're more like robots. So it really matters to dig up our feelings and to let them, what do you call it, let out. Let out our feelings where we can see them and know them. It's true yeah. what you say. And um, in a way, that also makes us stronger. Yeah, of course, it makes us stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Even though we don't talk about it, but just by coming here already uh, already makes us stronger because we are we are we have the courage to face the deepest fear in us. And uh, sometimes it's not really the deepest fear in us, but the deepest fear from other people. <laughs> but you know, just by seeing those things, you know, perhaps ugly sometimes. We have become stronger, and then uh, that helps. That really helps. Well, uh, so does anybody have a question for her? Okay. Well, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs>